welcome to Tangling Along With Me. We are continuing on TangledPatterns.com and today we are going to start on a totally new site. So let's open up the book and find the page where we are going to work on. And I just need this book to open up wide. So let's start with relaxing in our shoulders, taking a deep breath, Relaxing in the whole body and just finding a place where you just are grateful for the day today, grateful for sitting here and drawing together with me or with someone else, grateful for friends, family, grateful for the time of the year, uh, maybe something else. Yes. We are going to start with the uh, dots in the corners. So I'm just going to make a dot in each corner of my page here because I want to use the whole page for this. And then I am just going to make my lines connecting the dots. And you can make your lines exactly like you want they can have like a twist on them or they don't need to you can make them as straight as you can or stuff like that i know it can be hard to see but it's there um i will try to do it a bit more um darker so i'm gonna take from one end here to the other and make kind of a swirly loop and I'm gonna do that here as well. And from here. So I'm just making quite a lot of swirly loops here. Whoops, that was too far. Um, we can erase that later. Let's see, I can make one going up here, touching this one, going back out. And that has a weird shape, this one, so I'm just gonna place a last one right here, like that. Uh, how many rooms I have, I really don't know. Um, I can divide this room here in two because it's fairly big. So let's start there. And I think you can see that pretty good. Okay, um, I am going to make this pattern today. So make that with me. I am using my black Micron PM for this one. Um, and I'm gonna find a place to put this one. Just wanna keep my book fairly flat here while working. Uh, let's take this room right here because I find that interesting. So this is a um, grid pattern and I know some of you really 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 love these grid patterns. I'm gonna make my grid quite big here um, so I don't get that many rooms. Actually I think that's it and I don't get any full rooms here so um, maybe I should extend this one out to be a fully room here just so you can see what really happens um, so this one needs actually kind of a roof on it so first of all I'm going to make a cross in the middle of my box then I'm making yet another cross here, again, straight through around the middle of the box. And then on this, um, now I need to see, so from, yeah, down here. So from the middle of this line and down here, I'm making this line and the same here from the middle of this line down there from the middle of this line to this point 
and again from this middle to this point. And then you can color in these um, things here if you want to. Um, and here around here we are going to make a ribbon kind of uh, auraing this line over here. And I did not do that pretty straight. You want to make it kind of a, a ribbon going all the way around the inside of the box, going under everywhere. So these two should have been lined up, but they're not. I think that will work anyway. Uh, let me just find my eraser really quick. I have everything here next to me so that I can grip it very, fairly easy. I'm just going to erase this little line that we have under there. And uh, I'm going to use my pink Micron PN for um, coloring these uh, pieces here. So this uh, kind of uh, small square we made here with the little lines, that's the one that I'm coloring in. And I will be doing the rest of this little tangle. I just want to show you how it looks. This little fragment here. And then from this little point you are actually kind of making a line from this tip to that over there. And we can color this little square here black. So doing it again from that line to this tip up here and right here. So these kind of go under this little border and that is the pattern we need to do. So this here is going to be a little more difficult so I'm just going to make as if that I have some middle point somewhere down the line and so from this one I'm going to go out to uh, some imaginary point down there. And the same here from half that line to the top here. And then we are going to make the aura all the way around here like that. And I'm just gonna take my pink pen here and color in this part here that needs to go pink. This way I know what I am doing here in this little half fragment. And, oh, I missed a spot. And this piece right here is supposed to go pink as well. So that's it. Putting on the lid again and going in with my black making the lines. So I will only have that one. Maybe I can see a tiny bit of it right there. There we go. So that was this one. Then we are going to take this one over here. It's going to be even more difficult. And I will have the top line around. There we go, taking my pink pen and coloring in this part. It's 
So this is kind of easier if you have um, the grid all done instead of just part of it, like I have. But it's possible. Okay, so here we will have the straight line down, this one up here, down to the middle, and out to the side, and I did not hit the middle right. But it's okay. So now I just need to figure out how this was. Um, so that's from that point to this point, and then from here to there, and from here to there. And I'm just gonna take my pink and color in these. Um, triangular shapes we are getting right here. I just have the feeling that I have done something wrong, but now we're doing it like this. There we go. That is all white, so I would have a tiny bit of pink peeking out right there. So I need a line around here. So now the border all the way around. Like that, and the lined that's going behind here. So I think that is right. I still need the black. So I would have actually, let's uh, take my pencil here and make some kind of uh, change here so that I have another line to work with. That's a good part of your string. You can always move it so it fits your needs a bit better. There we go. So from here to there, from here and up. Put that away. Color in these two parts here pink. And I actually think this pink color is really pretty um, on the brown paper. There we go. Now the border coming in, going under the pink. Going under the pink. Then the line connecting the point with the line over there, and I'm just gonna make an imaginary line going behind here. Then I have something right here. Um, I'm not really sure what I got. Um, that would be going down here, and that would be going down there. Going back to my pink. Just to make sure that I know what I'm doing. And then the borderline all the way around. And the little black edge. So that would be that one. Um, yeah, that would be kind of a borderline. That would be all that I can see over here. And I have a tiny bit of place here, so I have a line going up here. And here I would have the line coming in. 
It's quite difficult right here, but we will manage. So that little pink piece will be pink. And over here, I think I'm only having kind of the border like that. Yes. So that's the pattern and um, it's so, so pretty, but it's a little difficult. So now you know. Um, let me take a little of my white charcoal and I'm just gonna place a tiny bit in these rooms here using my Sautillon. Kind of dragging it up to the point here in the middle. And I'm gonna do that here in every part that is the same. So that would be over here. This will also make it a bit easier to see what's going on. That would be a little over here as well, just using what was on my Tachi Young. Tiny bit of white here. There we go. I like that. Um, shading. I really don't uh, know how to shade this. You could make uh, along this side if you want to on all of these parts. Um, you can make the pillowing. You can go uh, with the lines here. I think I am going with the pillowing on this one just to make it a bit easier on myself and I have to sharpen out this pencil in a bit because that is starting to get a little too flat nosed for me I like my pencil to have a nice point Taking my Tautillon for my graphite and just carefully dragging here in the graphite to get uh, the shadow that I want to around this tangle. and my book around here. And I'm always doing my white charcoal before I'm using uh, my uh, graphite, my pencil, to make the shading because uh, you want the white to be under the shadows. Anyway, that was the pattern for today. It was this one right here. I think it turned out really pretty. So thank you for watching and have an attitude of gratitude.